The Latter-day Saint movement is a religious movement within Christianity that arose during the Second Great Awakening in the early 19th century and that led to the set of doctrines, practices, and cultures called Mormonism and to the existence of numerous Latter-day Saint churches. Its history is characterized by intense controversy and persecution in reaction to some of the movement's doctrines and practices and their relationship to mainstream Christianity. The founder of the Latter-day Saint movement was Joseph Smith, who was raised in the Burnover district of upstate New York. He claimed that, in response to prayer, he saw God the Father and Jesus Christ, as well as angels and other visions. This eventually led him to a restoration of Christian doctrine that, he said, was lost after the early Christian apostles were killed. In addition, several early leaders made marked doctrinal and leadership contributions to the movement, including Oliver Cowdery, Sidney Rigdon, and Brigham Young. Modern-day revelation from God continues to be a principal belief of the Mormon faith. Movement's historical context Second Great Awakening and the Charismatic Movement The Latter-day Saint Movement arose in the Palmyra, Manchester area of western New York, where its founder, Joseph Smith, was raised during a period of religious revival in the early 19th century called the Second Great Awakening. This awakening was a Christian response to the secularism of the Age of Enlightenment and extended throughout the United States particularly the frontier areas of the West. A significant early event in this Second Great Awakening was the Cane Ridge Revival, a large camp meeting that took place in 1801 at Cane Ridge, Kentucky. Joseph Smith's father, Joseph Smith, Sr., said he had several visions or dreams, as had Smith's paternal and maternal grandfathers. The people of western New York, like the rest of the United States at the time, were also influenced by folk religion. The fathers of both Joseph Smith and Oliver Cowdery were reported to have used divining rods, though not by those within the LDS Church. Joseph Smith reportedly used seer stones, which he used after his first vision of Jesus Christ. People of the time used such rods and stones in various ways, including to locate underground water, to find lost items, to locate buried treasure or mineral mines, as part of religious or magic rituals, or to communicate with spirits or angels. Until about the 1830s, the use of such divining media, even as a profession, was thought by many, though not all, as honorable and profitable employment. Another related strand of religious thought that became important to the Latter-day Saint movement was the Restoration Movement, primarily influenced by Barton W. Stone and Alexander Campbell, who joined Stone in 1824 in Ohio. Stone and Campbell believed that the division among Christian sects had been caused by a great apostasy from the original teachings of Jesus and that the correct principles of Christianity could be re-established by restoring practices described in the New Testament. The Restorationists also intended to eliminate sectarianism, arguing that there should be only one Christian church, which should be called the Church of Christ. While these Restorationist ideas were circulating in the Western frontier, the family of Joseph Smith was living in Western New York, where they attended many of the local revivals. During this time, the area was seeing so many Christian revivals that Western New York's most well-known revivalist Charles Grandison Finney later dubbed the area the Burned Over District. Because of a lack of clergy from established churches, this area was unusually open to religious innovations, new movements, and social experiments such as religious communism. Latter-day Saints do not typically distinguish between this restoration movement and the broader Protestant Reformation, since both were an attempt by humans to return to the values and doctrines taught by Jesus and the Apostles. While most Latter-day Saint groups believed that there was a need for God to actively restore both authority and doctrine, however, in spite of their different use of the word restoration, 
This movement was an important part of the culture that led Joseph Smith to become interested in religion. Masonic influences Joseph Smith and several of the church founders were Freemasons, and were founding members of a lodge in Norvu, Illinois in March 1842. There are some similarities between Mormon temple worship and symbolism and the stories and symbols of Freemasonry. In modern times, the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints holds no position for or against the compatibility of Masonry with LDS Church doctrine.